G'day there everyone, I'm Daniel Anderson here. Now I wanna show you a couple of reasons why I think metadata has never been more business critical as it is right now. And that is to do with Copilot and your Copilot implementations. Just a super quick interruption before we crack on to the rest of this video. I wanna help you build Copilot or AI ready document libraries. So I have created a five module little course just to teach you that. Now, as I said, five modules, why metadata matters now. We build your first Copilot ready document library. We take a look in depth at the Copilot SharePoint knowledge agent in action. We build your first Copilot agent on top of the library that we learn to build. And then I walk you through a lot of common mistakes that I see over and over again when people are trying to build these libraries out. So head over to Copilot ready libraries.com enroll now and i will see you in the course if you're struggling with copilot getting results or information that is accurate from your sharepoint sites or your documents then stay tuned watch this because i think this is going to help alleviate and change the way that you structure your content now first of all a big update to the way Copilot works means that Copilot now reasons over your metadata. Now, you can see here that I'm in a SharePoint document library. Now, it's a project site. Now, you'll notice that I've got a couple of different libraries. I've got compliance docs, I've got permits and approvals, and I've got client communications. Now, you'll also notice this little floating button or um, icon in the bottom right-hand corner, and this is the new knowledge agent. Now, this is the first thing that we're gonna take a look at. You'll also see that I've got lots of metadata or columns added to this library doing certain things. I've got document types, I've got statuses, I've got owners, I've got next review dates. Now, if I open up this knowledge agent and I ask this knowledge agent a question, and say, um, can you get me all the expired documents, please, right? So what this is going to do is actually look at and reason and understand this custom metadata that I've got in the document status column and then give me those documents. And this is really, really, really important. And dare I say it, a game changer in the way that people interact with your libraries. So we can see here, I've got my documents and there's four of them. So if I look at the document status and I filter by uh, expired, you'll see that I've got the four documents, all right? Perfect, that's exactly what we're after. Now, what about, let's have a look at another example and let's use the next review date as an example. Uh, now, can you please get me all the documents, um, let's say documents that, uh, that have a next review date of for this month, right? So I'll say for this month and let's just see if it understands this, all right? So we can see that this month, hello there, uh, that we do have a number of different documents that we've got due for renew this month. Why hello there. And we can see that, let's have a look, right? Let's have a, just double check a few of these. So we've got precision public liability insurance. Uh, actually what we'll do is let's filter this document library, right? So let's filter by everything this month. So it's the 11th, the 11th, and let's have a look and I'll apply. So I've got one, two, three, four. I've got one, two, three, four, which is looking accurate at first look. So I've got precision, I've got skyline, I've got uh, Q&A, and I've got introducing AquaClean. So that is all relevant, right? Let me get you out of the way. Now, the next thing we're gonna take a look at is outside of this knowledge agent, we're going to take a look now at creating a custom agent, right? So a, a Copilot Studio Lite agent that is grounded and pointed at these document libraries. So let's jump up into Copilot and I'm going to look at this compliance Copilot. This compliance Copilot agent 
is pointed and grounded in the compliance documents library. All right. So if I remove these filters, let's now do the same thing. Can you please present in a table all the expired documents, please? All right. And let's have a look. So this agent's going out. I'm not having to go into Copilot. I'm now getting these documents. And there's the four documents that are expired. Now, what about we say, um, can you get me all the documents uh, that have a next review date this month? All right, and let's see if we get the same results. Again, we're grounded in the same document library. Here are the documents, and again, there's the documents that are due this month, right? I've got the summary, there's four documents, etc., like that. Now, let's have a look at what else we can do. What about if we say, let's combine something. So the document types, let's say document types um, that are active, right? So if I now go, uh, can you please list, and let's say, and summarize all all the documents, uh, all the document types that are, let's say, that have a status of active, right? That have a status of active. Please group by subcontractor. All right, and let's see if it reasons over that, right? So we've, we're doing a couple of things here. So we got, and this is good, it's grouped by the subcontractor and I've got the documents and I've got the notes. So it's put the notes in there, all right? And that's good. So I've got three active documents and two subcontractors. Let's have a look. So document status filter by um, active and I'll hit apply. There's my three docs, uh, the subcontractor, Green Core Civil and Precision. And let's have a look. Green Core Civil has two and Precision is one. All right. So that agent is reasoning over and understanding the custom metadata columns that we do have in this document library. So two instances there why I think metadata and having a foundational understanding of metadata, how to use it, how to structure your library so that they are AI ready is really becoming business critical. Now, I think this is such an important topic and becoming so critical that I created this little mini course about creating and teaching you how to build and create AI or co-pilot ready document libraries. $39 enroll now on demand and you're going to learn a lot and everything that you need to build these document libraries yourself. You're going to learn why metadata matters now, build your first co-pilot ready document library, have a look at the no the knowledge agent in action. We're actually going to build a co-pilot agent on top of the library that we build. And then I'll also run through some common mistakes that I see um, across lots of organizations and hopefully help you avoid those, all right? So have a look, head over to copilotreadylibraries.com, enroll now, take the course, five modules, and that will help you build your AI-ready document libraries. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.